You gotta make intelligent decisions, like walking around with your Whoops! No! 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 Go! Go! Ah! I gotta run! I gotta run! Get out of here! Oh! Wait! Hold on! I'm at zero HP. Why didn't I? Why didn't I die? I'm at zero HP. I'm at four HP. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Hello and welcome to Hotter Plays. Oh, this music is so good. Okay, hello and welcome to Hotter Plays. Uh, to part two of this week's Let's Play, we're looking at the Friends of Rinko Ishikawa, which is it's a it's a beast of a game. There's so many things to it. It's a bit like Persona. It's a bit like River City Ransom. It's a it's got a bit of everything, and it's interesting and philosophical. While also being a game where you can just punch people in the face, and who doesn't like that, you know? It's the best of both worlds. Uh, if you haven't watched the companion video on R River City Ram, River City Ransom, have I been calling it the wrong thing this entire time? River City Ransom. Uh, I'm going to talk about a lot of game mechanics in this game that are also present in the other ones. So it's going to be a better video if you're aware of the context of this game. And I'm super glad I get to do this because. It's one of the games I've always wanted to do with Let's Play. You can talk, you can give so much information just from playing a little bit of it, giving the context. And we start in this train carriage to teach us a little bit about the. Well, really, it's to set up the tone of the game. Uh, we've got some rival gang members, and we're just straight up in a fight with them. We can just make sure they get their faces wrecked. Okay, we've got a friend here to help us out, but. We've got to get our own hits into, and all right. Looks like I busted my little finger. Well, at least your hand ain't broken. Thanks for the support. That's what you get for using gloves all the time. The timing sucks. What can I say? Here with an open palm. And he lights a cigarette over his fallen, <laughs> his fallen enemies. Where are we meeting up with the others? At the park. Should have all gone together. Probably. You think there'll be another ambush at the station? That's for sure. Okay, so you play as a delinquent and you rob people after you've beaten them up. This is a good habit to get into. Whenever you uh, defeat anybody, you want to crouch over them and take the money out of their pockets. Because otherwise, that money's gonna go to waste, you know? But make sure you're earning good. Alright, so this game has really interesting controls. You've got the A button to let you do a contextual move. You can stand around, hold A, press up to fold your arms and to look real serious. You can press down to do a squat, a delinquent squat, so to speak. And all right, there is our train journey over. Got another rival gang member, and it's the same logic as River City Ransom, where if they're in a different color to you, then they're probably not friendly. They're extremely not friendly, so let's destroy these guys. Alright, that's what you get. Wait, hold on. That's what you get. We get some XP from that. It's also a very light RPG. This guy had 13 yen on him, which is a very small amount of money. But we gotta make sure we got our income from that, and oh yeah, our friend's got the right idea. We've got to press B and light a cigarette over our fallen enemies. <laughs> oh man, there's more of them. Love that little detail too, the cigarette goes flying out of your mouth when you're fighting. Alright, let's so make sure they're down. Okay, We've got to loot the bodies. This guy's got nothing. This guy's got nothing. Then light a cigarette. Watch the very beautiful Japanese countryside out there since check that out. The graphics of this game are an absolute standout. They're so gorgeous. Okay. Cigarette done, let's go. Man, I love being a delinquent. Such a good life. And speaking of delinquents, you press and press and hold R to be in delinquent mode. 
and I didn't know this before, but apparently if you've got your hands in your pockets, then you are automatically a delinquent. And if you come across any rival gang members, they will immediately try to fight you. An interesting mechanic in this game too is that you've got allegiances of certain gangs, and so you don't want to be the one who throws the first punch. But if anyone else throws the first hit, then they are fair game. You are free to defeat them, loot the bodies. Well, these guys are really cheaping me out. Imagine going to a street fight with nothing on you, that's crazy, man. But I have some victory money. It's a bit hard to actually line up the, the loot animation. He's gonna walk onto them in just the right angle. And these guys, pretty hard to loot. Guess they don't want me touching their stuff. Well, too bad. I'm gonna light a cigarette over their bodies. Goodbye, let's go. And here we've got our opening cutscene. Told you we should all gone together. We arrive just a little bit late at a gang fight with our five best friends. I think four best friends. It's a mess, you know. Everyone's everyone's brawling, there's arms and legs flying everywhere. And these guys, they don't really go down on you, there's so many of them. One falls down, the next one gets back up. Alright, we did it. It's about time you came. This dumbass busted his finger. Which one? A pinky? You're gonna cut off sooner or later anyway. That's a funny joke. It's a reference to a Yakuza. I don't know if it's a real practice or a myth, but if you lie, they used to cut off your pinky because you can't make promises anymore. That sure makes me feel better. Ringo, check this out, I got bashed on the head. <laughs> Great. And your finger, Ken? What about the tournament? You'll find out that Ken's a, a boxer, so he's got dreams of being a, uh, a championship fighter. And he's gonna compete next week, and that has a tutorial for a boxer. He finds out that his days of running around being a delinquent fighting people are not exactly the best thing to be doing if he really wants to be winning championships. And that becomes a recurring theme for a lot of these characters, is that they've got to make decisions about do they want to be a delinquent, you know, do they want to live this life, or do they want to give it up and maybe lose some fights in the streets, but they make something out of them in a different sphere. And so Ringo's the leader of this gang, we're talking about different groups that, from different schools that are, get, that are starting up beef with them, and it's, it's all politics, you know, it's really political. It's interesting the way he thinks about his space and his place in the world, you know. He needs to uh, feel ownership of his, his environment and his land. <laughs> Absolutely, manga is the shit. Thank you for backing me up on that. Alright, ready to go, bros? Leave the way, Cap. Okay, let's not get to loot the bodies. One yen, are you kidding me? Imagine waking up in the morning and being like, I'm just gonna put one yen in my pocket. I just need one. Note that uh, Japanese yen doesn't have like dollars and cents, you know? One yen is like one cent. 26, that's what I'm talking about. We need this money, you know, later in the game, the more money we have, the more power we're gonna get. Money is power, so we're gonna make sure we take every opportunity we get. We can't be we can't be merciful on these fools. If they pick a fight with you, then you need to take their money when you beat them up. Alright, let's go. Great animation too, check it out. The city at night, it looks really, really good. And now I've got this red gang. Kind of accusing us of trying to punch above our weight. And I mean, not too bad. We fight pretty well. They know who we are. And we know who they are. And so... What else can happen? There's conflicts. They've got to assert their dominance. we got to assert our dominance. So, he's right, it is the only way to do this.
And there we go, we got a flag into the face, and now we're gonna get up and ready to go. So, when we saw in River City Ransom, the game could actually only take four characters on screen at once. This one doesn't have that at all, so even though the controls are the same, things are crazy, things are just an absolute mess. People hitting you left and right. There's a little bit of strategy to picking your targets, making sure you're not taking too much damage. And here we have one of my favorite title drops of all time. Just look at that. You can keep beating them up as the title appears. It's just it's so good. Alright. Welcome to the Friends of Ringo Ishikawa. Probably my favorite game of 2018, I want to say. So a year after that... We get into this situation with the school counselor, and he's not very happy with us. He's uh, he's kind of mad because we've been getting into all these fights, and he wants to take care of us, but at the same time, we're all making the wrong choices. So they get suggested that they can't be expelled, they've got to either take a year back or graduate this year. And <laughs> I love this guy, he makes the exact same excuse that a lot of students make when they're misbehaving. It's like, why are your favorite students? It's true, that's why I'll do all that to make sure you can graduate this spring. And so this guy is nice, he's a pretty good authority figure, he suggests that we show up to classes every now and then, which is a great way to pass, I'm just, I'm just saying. If, you know, if you're in high school, you're in uni, you want to pass your courses, a good thing to do would be to go to them. And we give him the lip, we say, alright, we'll just do the best we can. Last year they were juniors, and this year they're seniors, and it's the last year of high school. This is the kind of year where, especially in Japanese culture, it's the make or break, you know? It's where they decide what the rest of their life is gonna, lives are going to look like. They can go to uni, they can take a trade, but they've got to make some choices. And this, this teacher here recognizes that. He says that we aren't stupid, maybe we should clean up our act. We've got options now. We've got choices to make. And then our friend goes, what about me? He says, no, Takahashi, unfortunately, you're a fool. Just absolutely brutal takedown. Imagine your teacher said it to you. My spot? No, you're not. And he says, I appreciate your frankness, and then we leave. And so there are smokes. They decide to. What are they doing? It's interesting. So Ken, their friend from before, who was the boxer, he's decided to give up smoking because he's taking this tournament seriously. And our friend Takahashi and I, Ringo, well, we're gonna bum around and waste some time, you know? School just finished up, we're gonna buy some smokes, we're gonna basically dick around, do what kids do. This is the cigarette vending machine. Also, it's crazy that you can buy vending machines in... buy cigarettes in vending machines. What? Buy vending machines? In Japan. You can definitely not do that here. In Australia, cigarettes cost more than possibly any other commodity for grams, you know, it's extremely expensive. But, you know, good. Once we quit. Okay, so they're talking a bit about what's gonna happen to their future. Thinking about if they're actually gonna get expelled or not. Takahashi thinks he's gonna be a future Yakuza. He's gonna get into a gang, but he wants to be accepted. And it's interesting because Apparently you need a diploma to be in high ranks in the Yakuza, which I mean, I guess that makes sense? Interesting though. And now it's gonna be very, very open world now. It's gonna be a lot like in River City Ransom. You can go buy food, keep yourself filled up, and you've got your little timer in the top right corner, which shows you how much time you got to waste around. Here is another rival gang, we can delinquent walk past them if we want to flex them a bit. The fun thing is that they don't really notice us until we delinquent walk, but they're not going to start a fight. We don't want to be rabble rousers, you know, we don't want to be the one to be known for hitting people, we just want to defend our turf. Okay, so here we've got the same stat screen, we've got our basic stats, we've got kicking, punching, throwing, 
and defense. We've got a variety of skills, there's lots of skills in this game. Same as with River City Ransom, you can learn them over the course of the game. We've got a party, so we've got Ringo at level 5, we've got Takahashi at level 4. And we should eat that Tonkatsu sandwich, sandwich we bought because we're starving and now we're just hungry. Okay, now we're full, good. And we've got grades! We've got our, we've got our grades. Uh, unfortunately, most of them are at 1%, so we are basically the definition of dropkicks. We'll be getting Fs and Ds, and if we were to straighten up and fly right, then maybe we could do pretty well for ourselves, but at least at the moment, that's not where we're at. So you got these guys in the green jumpsuits, not really our, not really our beat. Here's the cafe, and you do a lot of cutscenes here. I don't think you can buy anything here, so let's just keep moving on. I'm gonna do a quick tour of the town. Here we've got a split. If you go further towards the left, there's a field that people like to fight at. We're not gonna go there right now. We've got some suburbs. Really, really lovely artwork, by the way. Check it out. It's just gorgeous. And the colors are done so well as well. Here we've got a nice embankment, much more modern. Could I have to go downstairs? We can go across this bridge. And now we are at Ringo's place. This guy in the white is another gang member, I'm pretty sure, but you can't talk to them. You can't start a fight or anything. And it's pretty late in the afternoon. I figure if you really want to, you can just go inside and chill. You can sleep if you want. And poor Takahashi has to watch us sleep. Uh, what you can do in your bedroom too is you can sit down and literally study. You can pick a subject and just spend an hour reading up on it. And I've done a lot of work in the education sector and I want to say this, it's actually quite realistic. If you find a way to just sit down and do nothing but focus on a subject for an hour, you're going to get something out of it. And so good boy Ringo here is really brushing up on the skills. But this is the first day, we've not got a lot to do. It's 9.30 at night and there's a fight going on outside. It's not really our business, but you know, it doesn't hurt to watch. Just gonna be on our guard because what could happen is one of them is gonna fall, and when they do, we're gonna need to be a target, so just be careful. But also the fighting animation in this game is gorgeous, check it out. The story behind the development, and I'm gonna drop a little drop little factoids. Wait, hold on a second. It's an apartment. Drop little factoids as we play. The developer actually did, a, did some rotoscoping. I think he got a... I could be wrong. I want to link the uh, the actual interview. But he got potentially his dad to do a few of these moves. And he videotaped them and figured out how he would anim animate them to make them look realistic. And that's why the moves just look so great. The, the punches and the kicks combo into each other. They just feel really powerful. This guy is so strong. What the hell? There we go, we got him. Got him good. Uh, we can loot his body. 171 is pretty good. 87. Good, we got some money out of it. That's great. All in all, a pretty good day. So let's just retire for the evening, because tomorrow we've got a lot to find out. It's gonna set the sleep time to about 5 o'clock. And now it's day two. So you can see where the Persona influences are really starting to come in. After that introductory cutscene, you're kind of given a few different directions you can go. You can be a delinquent, you can build up your fighting skills, or you can really brush up and study as hard as you can. You can devote your time to your friends, you can devote your time to a job, you can devote your time to your studies. Either way, you are the one who makes the decisions from now on. You know, you've got to take control of your life. And if you don't, then you might just fall into whatever feels right, whatever feels easiest. And that's not that's not great. Unfortunately, oh you can, you can punch the bag. Punching the bag is great because the more you use the skills in this game, the stronger they get, I'm pretty sure. So if you spend some time just doing some punches, you will eventually get stronger and better in your fighting. Okay, so we're gonna meet a, a friend whose name is Aiko, and she's dating somebody, I can't exactly remember. 
but the teacher sent her here to come and walk us to school and make sure that we're at school on time. And, you know, they pretend to be friends, they're pretty cordial with each other. Ringo's doing his uh, delinquent walk as he's going down the street <laughs> with his friend. It's asking how Shira's going, and... Interesting, so she used to be part of the judo club, I guess, but... She's kind of given that up because she wants to spend more time studying to get to a good college, and she doesn't want to be like her mom, you know, she wants to be educated and have a trade for herself. And that's admirable, but it's also a little bit sad, because you got... You're that young and you gotta make choices like that. It's asking if she's still going out with Daisuke, and I don't think we've met who that is so far. But she doesn't like him anymore, because he's a bit of an idiot. He can't spell things right. And she makes this assumption that people who do javelin throw are not expensive and not intelligent. Karate is a good sport, javelin is some kind of sublimation. <laughs> Sorry to all the javelin throwers out there. Okay, so Aiko is pretty determined. She's very clear about what kind of person she is and what kind of person she wants to be. Whereas Ringo, the more you see in the game, he's definitely a lot freer. He's not as well... He's not as well versed in how the world goes. So we're now in class. This is history class. You can hold the A button to write and as long as you are holding the A button to write, then by the end of class, you do get a little boost to your intelligence. Just gotta wait it out. Right, now I got 2% for our history. We have to meet some of our classmates. Here is Mariko, who is just talking about the seats. It's a little boring. Life is suffering. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> A woman's life is filled with suffering. It's interesting, there's a very gentle note of existentialism in everything in this game. It's all down to the fact that everyone's gonna make choices. I finished Zalda yesterday. The ending there is like, wow, I still got the shakes. Let me borrow it. Sorry, Ringo, but like I said, I gave myself a word to not give the console to anyone. Too bad I gave myself a word to not bash my classmates' teeth in. A man's word is his bond, Ringo, especially a word to yourself. Yeah, okay. Imagine beating someone up because you want their Famicom. That's that's pretty petty, you know? So, this school's really lovingly built. They've got hallways, they've got bathrooms, they've got corridors. It looks exactly like what any school in a video game looks like. That's where a lot of people get the Persona comparisons from. It just feels like a school. It feels like a generic Japanese high school. Talking about going to the disco I could now. She does kind of like joking around, she's that kind of person. You can see some ads here, I don't know if these are the ones you can read. But you find out as well, the school's got some clubs, they've got a judo club, a karate club, and a theatre club. You can join them if you want to get some extra... extra curriculum activities, I don't know. But they're doing friends in their classroom. We're not really going to talk to them. We've got to be in our seat because we're going to be late for the next class. Okay, now we're studying maths. Very fashionable teacher. The funny thing is that you can use a D-pad to fidget and just move around in your seat and not pay attention. Look at the window, uh, slouch. But if you do that, you actually don't get anything out of the class. So you've got to make sure you're holding down the A button and getting the notes down. And there we only got 1%. I don't know if it's because I slouched for half of it or some random number. This game is very obtuse with its mechanics. It doesn't tell you exactly how it works. It's very... it hides a lot. Okay, so here's floor two. Not our classes. Also can't read the billboards, so just keep going. That floor is really only there for very similar to, to help you fool you into thinking that you are a, you're a high school student. Here we have the world's absolute nightmare billboard, which is everybody's grades publicly posted, and Ringo Ishikawa has an F on everything. So, you know, some educators will say that something like that is effective at guilting the students or shaming the student into getting good marks, and that's not really my jam. You know, that's that's, that's anxiety inducing. Who wants to see the ranking right there? Put a class timetable so we know what subjects we're going for. If we want to skip classes and 
this game does not stop you from skipping classes, then you can kind of plan around what classes you want to go to and what classes you want to skip. If you're really good at a certain subject, maybe you don't need to go to that class, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm not, I'm not advocating that you skip, I'm just saying it's an option if you really want to. Look at me, I'm an authority figure. Okay, so here is our theatre club. Here is Hamada, who is going to try and convince us to join the theatre club with some uh, underhanded tactics. I don't think you're allowed to do that as a teacher, but this game is set in the 80s, I believe, so it's definitely gonna be a bit more lax on the values. And she starts telling us that she has the exact role for us in a school play. Ringo, of course, is the tough guy. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want anything to do with the theater, especially in the 80s. Just imagine if, if being a theater kid is not super cool today. How would that have been seen 40 years ago? So, yep. It says we have an unusual face, mostly Mars, of course, with a little bit of Venus here on a touch of Jupiter. I don't know what that means. You'd fit this role perfectly. And then he just leaves. Yep, this is not really for us, and I don't believe the theater club actually does anything in this game. There is a judo club that's on at 3 o'clock on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and there is karate at 6 to 8 on any day. Both of these are good opportunities for you to build your strength and get a bit stronger. I accidentally went to the title screen. I forgot you could do that. Oh no. Oh no. Well, this is getting fast forwarded. Okay, so in that experiment we find out that actually if we held down the A button the entire class, we do get more intelligence out of it, so... Yeah, take that as a life advice, just... If you focus in class 100% of the time, you learn more than if you didn't. Gosh, that was a uh, very self-explanatory. Okay, so we're gonna go right outside the school now. And weird, usually our friends would be here to hang out, but I don't know why they're not here yet. Maybe we just wait a bit longer till 3 o'clock. There's also the guidance counselor's room, which I now can't exactly remember where it is. Also, you don't need to go trigger that theater scene. It's actually completely optional. Most of the things in this game are completely optional. Completely skippable. Here is the guidance counselor. We can talk to him a bit about how our study is going. Uh, unfortunately, we have all Fs. We can get a scholarship, actually, if we do better in our courses. And that's a really good way to get money in this game. Unfortunately, it means you've got to study and study well. And, you know, you could do that. Or you could get really good at street fighting, and as a kid, what's gonna matter to you, you know? Here's the school library. There's actually a bunch of books here, and I'm pretty sure that some of these are actually really effective for the game. They actually have strong effects. Of course, that means we're gonna just be sitting here reading a book for a bit, so it's gonna wait for these pages to tick down. Maybe it's a good time to talk a bit about the trivia of the game too. So the developer of this game, Shinyo, is actually not Japanese. I think he's Russian, but I'll put it on the screen just to make sure I'm not wrong, not giving you misinformation. He's a one-person developer. He put in so much effort into this game, and it shows in every facet of it, right? The graphics, and the story, and the premise, everything is just so well researched, feels so authentic, and so purposeful as well. It's a different gaming experience, whereas when we were playing uh, River City Ransom, it's it's just a fighting game, you know? It's just about going to the next place and beating people up. But this one is deeper. There's different facets to it. You can play it as a beat-em-up if you want. You can take the story route that makes Ringo buff up and get real strong and good at beating down all the gangs. Or you can go a different route. You can play the route that where he sits down and studies and reads a book for a bit. And maybe that's going to show something different about his life, you know? The game's not very really long, it takes you a few hours to get to an ending. But there's lots of different scenes to see, and it's great for replay value. Alright, so we finished this book, let's see what it does for us. The book's about nothing! No! So, <laughs> I've 
I've seen sometimes reading a book to its completion will give you a static bonus. Sometimes it means your studying is more effective. Sometimes it means you read books faster. I don't know, but they can be really useful and we missed out on that. All right, so now I've got our friend here who won't let us talk to him. Weird. Okay. Guess he doesn't like us very much. Okay, so now we've got Takahashi. He's asking us if you want to follow the advice. Ken's in the library because wants to hit on Nami, who's the librarian, and they didn't work. They didn't work out. It's pretty funny. All right, so now we head off to the burger stop after school. It's a new machine at the bar, Pachinko. No, a poker one, like in Vegas. What can you spend the chips on? No chips, straight cash. Is that even legal? Who's gonna stop them? By the way, Tanaka's gang is acting all aggro. Barely got away from them on my way from the bar a few days ago. It's a deal. Something got up their ass. It's hard to tell these guys are nuts. Which is interesting. So they need to stick around the gang because they kind of get known for being delinquents. People will pick fights with them because they're known to be delinquents. And so if you beat up the guy who's known to be strong, then you're the strong guy. And we saw that earlier in the intro, and now we're seeing that now. The fact that Ringo has kind of cemented himself as a delinquent leader, that means that he's got to deal with this drama, you know? These things matter now, whereas to a normal high school student, it wouldn't matter at all. It really, it really kind of weighs down on him because he's not going to make choices that affect more than himself. He can't just do what he wants because regardless of what happens, there's going to be people out basically for his head. They want to beat him up and be the new, the new big guy on the, on the block. But at the same time, he's got no time for training because he's got to be studying. He's got no time for studying because he's got to be social. And he's got no time to be social because he's getting beat up all the time. So it's a real nightmare of a time. Here is actually a video shop, which we can't go to because it's closed. But when it's open, you can buy DVDs that some of them will teach you skills as well. Um, here we've got a really nice suburban street that's got water on the side. Um, let me think, I don't want to get lost, but I'm looking for a certain place. Nope, this is my house, I don't want that. Okay, so the game's map is very similar to... It's similar in design to River City Ransom. The way that the streets kind of branch off, and it's really just a few straight lines. Here we've got a construction zone that's very often got some fights going on. If you're desperate for money, what you can actually do is just wait around for some guy to get knocked down and loot his body. But I'm not really going to do that because it's a three-on-one. It's very unfair, but it means that if the green guy loses, we're going to be in for a world of hurt. Okay, so this field is basically not useful at all. At the very end, there's a picturesque place, that's about it. There's another fight going on here. It's a store here, too. This is that uh, pachinko machine they've been talking about. And we can talk to Masaru's. We can actually join up. And so now we're at Tucson. If we fight some gangs in the street, he'll join us and help us out. We can play video poker here if we really want. It's, a, it's not a great way to spend the time. So let's not do that. You can also play pool, but that costs money, so how about no? You can also put a coin in the joke box, but we also can't, so how about no? There's this guy who we can't talk to yet. And the bartender who we can't really talk to. Surprisingly, he lets us in and chill here even though we're in high school. The drinking age in Japan is... I think it's 20. So I'm surprised that he's so cool with that. Anyways, let's run across these gangs. We don't want to get in any fights. We're still pretty weak, I think. If we look at our who? Look at our stats. Oh, we're at full health. But we're not very strong. We haven't got a lot of uh, strength or know-how. And the main way you develop that is you go to the place where I'm looking for and I can't seem to find. Which maybe it's down here past this past the street, past the burger bar. You start to recognize the game's locations very well. Yeah, here we go. Well, ah. Uh, 
get it. Let's just beat this guy. Though. I really want to use this punk, but if these are, if these guys are gonna be here ruining it, then for what it's worth, they're in pro they're encroaching on my territory, and that means they need to get their ass handed. And speaking of ass handing, I am getting my ass handed to me. Ugh. Good time to talk about death penalties. So when you die in this game. You get sent to your bedroom. You wake up at a random time. It's 10 o'clock the next day. And while that doesn't seem so bad, it's actually extremely bad. Because it means that you've wasted time that you could have spent studying, training, talking with your friends, something, right? You could have been doing something then, but instead you were being an idiot, you got your ass kicked, and now you have to just wait it out in your bedroom? It hinders your run. If you die too many times in a run, you waste time, and you can't keep up with the demands that this game has on you. You're not going to be smart enough to do the tests that are on every Saturday. You're not going to be strong enough to face up to the street games. So, it is absolutely important that you make the right choices. You don't want to waste time on things that could have been avoided. Anyways, it's pretty late, and... Is it a Saturday? Why can't I go to school? It's Wednesday. It is Wednesday, so... Maybe class has started, maybe I can't walk in halfway, it's weird. It's not happened to me like this before. Well, I guess it's a good opportunity for me to teach you guys about skipping school then. Uh, if you miss a class, there's literally no penalty at all. There is... there's no punishment. So, you're free to do whatever you want with your time. You can choose to go to school if that's what your heart desires. You can choose to not go to school if that's boring, and you know, it's up to you, you're a delinquent. No one, no one can tell you what to do. This foresty area has got a pathway through here, it's actually a very long path across train tracks and to a different part of town. They've got a lot of different things for you to do there, we're not gonna go there. We're gonna go to... past the cigarette vending machine, we're gonna go to the park. Wait, hold on, we made a mistake. I hate how often I get lost in this game still. Even after a while, even though it's become the town that you're really familiar with, it's still never... Or at least not for me, it's not like second nature. I can't see it in my head, there's no map, you know, you just gotta memorize it. And I can see why they would make that choice. It forces you to inhabit the world. It forces you to be, well, be Ringo basically, you gotta be in his shoes, you gotta know what he knows. But for a new player, it's not. It's not a great start. And a lot of the mechanics too are just not explained at all. And while it's great for someone who wants to explore and find out how they do it themselves, it's hard on a first playthrough because you'll make a lot of mistakes and you won't do what you need to do. So one way to train is you wanna head to this bar jump up, do some pull-ups. I'm holding the A button, but I'm getting slower and slower, and actually, yeah, I'm limp now. <laughs> That's what I look like after half a pull-up, and he's done three. But you want to be consistent with that. You want to come back and do more and more of those pull-ups, because it, it invisibly increases your strength. And you'll see in a cutscene later, the way that you get into the karate club is by... This is Ken's house, no, he's not him. Uh, the way you get into the karate club and the way that you learn some skills is by proving that you're strong enough to do those pull-ups. If you're not strong enough, then the instructor kind of just goes, okay, you're not worth it, and he won't teach you anything. And if he doesn't teach you anything, then you can't get stronger, you get beat up by all these street gangs, so... You gotta make intelligent decisions, like... Walking around with your... Whoops, no, 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 Oh, wait, hold on, I'm at zero HP. Why didn't I, why didn't I die? I'm at zero HP. I'm at four HP. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Yeah, so, um, A and B don't do anything. B actually likes a cigarette. But if you're in delinquent mode, A and B will start fights. Gotta be careful. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Okay, uh... Let's see if we get some food, just because we're dying. This is not the food place. Where is the... F oh, the food place is like the burger bar. Oh, 
You see, so because we started a fight with those guys last time, they remember us. And now they're they out for us. Now, same thing as River City Ransom, you can just run away. You don't have to, you don't have to entertain the view of the world. But, you know, it's frustrating because they tail you. Okay, so we're here. Let's get some food. I haven't played this game long enough to know exactly what, uh, what's profitable. Or, I mean, what purchase is good value for money. We got two fish salads here. And a lots of damage. So we can eat both. We're seated, so we're not full. And we didn't recover any HP, so I have made a grave mistake. I can't exactly remember how you recover HP, and oh man, this gang really wants me. Like, really wants me. I only have 5 HP, so I don't want to get in any fights. One punch will knock me out, so... Maybe now is the time to be a bit... <sighs> be a bit peaceful, you know? Follow the way of the passive fist. And maybe... Spend some time in the library reading. You know, avoid the gangs until you don't have to worry about them. Oh, I forgot, this is the gym. Uh, the funny thing is, this is a contextual room, so depending on what time you go to it, it's a different space. Uh, it looks at the coach here. What up to Ping Pong, Sensei? It was scrapped, Ringo. Damn, I wish you scrapped it to our roof hangout. Same way you do with the couches. So you can actually buy a ping pong table here, and you can put that on the school roof, and that's, that actually unlocks a mini game for you. Unfortunately, a ping pong table costs five grand, and we don't have that money. Imagine how many people we've got to beat up for that five grand, man. So, the good thing is, uh, beating people up is actually not the best way to earn money in this game. It's actually the worst way to earn money in this game. The best way to earn money is to study and earn your scholarship. And so, let's talk to Nami here. Actually, what, what did she say if you talk to me? Wait for all the good books. I'm conducting a social experiment. How so? Nobody shows the lab wraps away at the labyrinth. Flattering comparison. Mammals are no worse than we are. I heard they can laugh. Then go and tell them a joke, stop wasting my time. Wow, she is hardcore. Um, mm -hmm. we've got random, random books. One of these might make us stronger, so let's just speed this up. Maybe we should look more at the game too. So, it is very Persona-like in that I think just the decisions of what to do in your time really factor into it. The main difference here is that where in Persona, for the most part, every choice you made was purposeful and it gave you strength for the core of the game, which was going through the dungeons and finishing the story. In this game, you kind of make your story. There is well, there is an overarching plot, but the everyday stuff is what matters. So if you choose to be smart and study, or if you choose to be strong and fight, or if you just waste your time, because time is real time in this game, if you just stand around, that says something about who your Ringo is, you know, and that's a way for you to express your beliefs. This is a very philosophical game, even though it doesn't seem like it. Based on, a, based on street gangs, which is all about just punching people, it's about nothing. One day, one day I will read a book that will unlock the secrets of the universe. Today is not that day, unfortunately. But yeah, these early days, it's good to get a head start. It's good to unlock your skills that you're going to have later on, because that's effectively how you'll succeed in the, the later sections of this game, is if you're strong enough to not get your ass kicked by all these gangs. Uh, I wish, I wish I didn't start that fight. I am so mad that these guys don't like me because that green gang is everywhere. And it's gonna be rough because now I just can't walk around town without this gang being on my case. That's frustrating. This guy here who's standing in front of a house, I don't really remember what he's for, but he's in a white shirt, which means he's probably part of the white gang. Oops. And now we're knocked out. So, it's very funny that kind of philosophy. You know when you're just like, 
you're young, you're teenage, you're angsty, and you're just like, I don't care anymore. You know, I don't care anymore. This doesn't matter to me anymore. Everything's a phony. I'm holding Holden Caulfield from Catcher in the Rye. Everyone's fake. This is the kind of mindset that this game lets you flow. You can consider it. You can think about giving up and not taking anything seriously, not going to your classes, just wasting your time away. And the game actually gives you a lot of different ways to waste time. Like ping pong, or video poker, or street fights, you know, there's lots of ways to be a delinquent in this game. And really, it's about choice. It's about what do you choose to do. I know I've said it a lot of times, but I do really like it when a game reinforces its themes. Oh, you're kidding me. I was not part of that fight. Okay, 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 forget you. The game's pretty cryptic about how it uh, teaches your fighting skills. It's not easy just to jump in a fight and succeed. You need to really train yourself. And so we're gonna go do some pull-ups because how else are you going to train yourself? Now that I say that, I feel like I've gone the wrong way. Yeah, I've definitely gone the wrong way. What's this boy? There's a lot of things I haven't discovered about this game too. There's a lot of hidden content. It's a really good game for multiple playthroughs because you'll never find everything on the first playthrough. Okay, the pull-up bar is gonna go down the embankment from the bridge here. Gonna go through the waterfront suburbs, which looks very nice. Gonna go down this path, past the store, and here we are. Alright, so good to do some morning pull ups as the sun rises. Also, how cool is it that the game doesn't even tell you you can do pull ups here? Like, if you didn't know how to jump, in Double Dragon, or, or um, River City Ransom by pressing A and B at the same time, then you wouldn't have ever known to stand here and jump and catch the pull bar. Or you can do reps, that's so cool. Okay, that's four in a row, five in a row, okay, five in a row. And check it out, I can increase my mass HP by doing that. Three is, is nothing, but, you know, training and improvement is the real goal of this. Okay, we can still only do five at once. I don't know what triggers the uh, the health upgrade though. I don't know how many you have to do, or how often you need to do them, or what is it, or the speed, or frequency, whatever. Maybe it's only one a day, who knows. The game is super, super obtuse with things like that. And because the game didn't get that well known, there's not a lot of documentation on it. There's not really a good place to find information about it. It's really a learn from discovery and trial and error kind of game. So if that's what you're into, I highly recommend it. I am only barely scratching the surface too. There is so much to this game that I just have not even talked about. Okay, but it's time for school. Got a delinquent friends up front. Maybe we sit in class for a bit, we try to join a club. We you know make the most out of you. Make the most out of our youth. Because if we try to skip class and go outside, the hoodlums in green jumpsuits are gonna kill us. So there's Aiko talking to somebody. Don't know who that is. Got old mates in the classroom. Mobaro who finished Zelda yesterday again. My assumption is that because later in this game you can buy a Famicom, my assumption is that this guy is talking about the legend of Zelda 1. But I also can't imagine getting chills at the end of The Legend of Zelda 1. I don't know, man. Maybe in the 80s that was a different experience, you know? Maybe that game meant a lot of... meant a lot of things for people growing up at that time. To me, I tried playing The Legend of Zelda 1. 
I enjoyed it. I finished something like seven ranked dungeons. I didn't. I never beat Ganon because he's hard, but it wasn't amazing. It was good, but it wasn't amazing. Didn't finish the right eye. What's the few ringer? Can't you say something nice? Left one's fine. <laughs> is my left six very evenly? It is. Uh, dialogue in this game is very funny. Ringo is a very no nonsense kind of person, and he's not even. He's not even like troubled or angry or anything like that. He's just blunt. Here is a literature class taught by a person who looks very much like a liter literature teacher. He's got the brown chinos, he's got the tie and the leather or the tweed jacket, and he's just standing with his hands on his hips, lecturing the class. Like, you can't do that in where I'm in Australia or. I'm assuming America is the same. You can't just teach a class where you're just standing up there and talking to the kids anymore, you know? You've got to make activities, you've got to make things fun, interactive. I wonder if that's what it's like in Japan as well, or if classes are like that too. I hear a lot about classes in, in China where my family's from, and it's very much an honor system, you know? You you sit there, you listen to the teacher, you, you're respectful, you don't act out of line. He's a theater copy, and I don't think there's anything new to be had here, so I'm just going to wait it out, because I think pretty soon the judo club should arrive. Oh wait, no, it's Thursday. It's Thursday, I messed up. Okay, if it's Thursday, then I guess we'll just go dig around. Who's this guy? Don't know. Okay. Oh, I hate how the gang members remember you. Okay, so now I've got a context cutscene. These happen every now and then. If you're in the right area at the right time, the story will just advance. So now we're talking, like, talking to Ken. He hasn't been at the gym lately. He doesn't really like the trainer. And the trainer's really pushing him to succeed and achieve. It's funny. He, he doesn't like being in that position, so I just go grab a coffee. And that's interesting for his character. He doesn't want to be a boxer, but he needs to be a boxer, and that lifestyle stops him from brawling in the street. I actually had a friend who was like this as well. I think he was like a classically trained singer, and that meant that he couldn't sing karaoke because it forced him to use his vocal cords in a different way. And so in the same way, it's like everyone's making these choices, right? You decide what you want to do, or you decide what you want to spend your time as. And some things will stop you from doing other things. So until Ken's finished his tournament, he can't brawl in the streets because he might injure himself. Even though all he wants to do is to punch Nakata in the face. In this dating of Goro's sister, we don't really know <laughs> who Goro's sister is. But apparently she dates all the delinquents now. Yeah, what I want is none of the menu, Kumi-chan. Can't afford it anyway, Ken-chan. <laughs> You're cruel. This guy's a real womanizer. It's a real double standard too, because both of them are, are pretty outraged that Grower's sister is dating all these delinquents, and Ken is hitting on everything that moves and doesn't really work out. Okay, so he's going back to the gym, and you can go to the gym too in this game. You can go there and you get some sandbags for working on your punching, you've got another pull-up bar, but you've got to spend money for the equipment. And so it's probably better to do the pull-ups for free. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, throws in this game are automatic, so if you walk towards an enemy, then you just naturally grab them by the cuff and prepare to throw them, and... Oh. I'm so mad. I hate how sad the death jingles is, too. It's like you made a mistake. And now we're troubled and awake at 2.30 in the, at 2.50 in the morning. We can be mad and punch our punching bag for a bit. I'm not actually sure if this improves our stats or not. It's just fun. Okay, it's enough of that. Uh, we can also... Why can't I go up? Oh, that's okay. I'm gonna try that. So first, we're gonna study literature. So very ASMR pencil sound effects. Okay, 
So if we're fighting the bag, we are in a one line, so we can do a fly kick to it if we really wanted to. Can do a flying up to <laughs> Extremely impractical move, you'll never use it on the street, but hey, you can do it. Alright, so it's 5.30. It's almost pull up time. So let's use our knowledge of the city to know exactly where to go. We want to go down this staircase. Across the really picturesque waterside apartments. Past the video store. Past... I don't know what that is, but past that. To the playground. And let's do some bars. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. So... Six. At least we got our HP buff. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, eleven. Oh. I don't know why I sound exhausted in real life. Game is just that realistic, I guess. Okay, it's six o'clock. It's actually a bit too early. I was gonna go to school, but school's not gonna be open right now. Maybe we can go watch some street fights. Uh, get some money. We're really low on money, we only have 410 yen. So we need, if we need to buy food, and we do because we're starving, the only way we can get money right now is to actually just watch some fights. So let's go to the field where there's often lots of them. Oh, we've even got one here. Red versus grey. Red is very, very strong, so we want to be careful. We don't have a lot of health to work with, right? But 200 health. We can take a few hits, but not too many. Uh, try and stay out of the heat, but if someone falls, we steal their stuff. I could be a real dick and just punch this guy in the back of the head right now if I really wanted to. But I'm just trying to be careful. I don't want to get too much flack right now. Come on. So at some point, one of these guys is going to fall. They've got their own HP bars. So you can't see them, but they do. There we go. He's dead. Okay, that money's mine. That was a really bad decision. Okay. I don't remember who's strong. He's... Okay. These two are duking it out. While they're doing that, let's just loot some bodies. Line up the sprites. It's not going too well for me. Dang it. Look at this guy. Okay, so he's not working either. He's down. Can I loot him? Oh my god. I don't think I can beat this guy. Red dudes are strong. Uh, yeah. There's definitely a technique to it. There's a, there's a way to anticipate punches and counter-attack in this game, which is way deeper than what you have in River City Ransom. But it's also a lot slower, it's a lot more methodical. Oh crap, I just wasted my entire day. It's 7 o'clock, oh no. I wasted it, and the entire school day is gone. Oh, I'm sad now. I, I was gonna go to the karate club, I was gonna like... Straighten up and fly right. I wonder if I can still make it. Do these, do these guys still hate me? Oh, sick. The beef has been quashed. Yeah, I'm excited. I can walk through the streets without being afraid for my life anymore. That's great. Okay, so it's 7.40. We are an hour and 50 minutes late to karate and yeah, the double isn't. Didn't think so. Every day from 6 to 8, don't be late. Okay, fine. You even said don't be late on the sign. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Uh, so that's the end of the first week. I have played this very badly, so if you pick up this game, don't do what I did. Make good choices. Choose who you want to be and stick to it. And don't get in dumb street fights because you will, you will lose. 
you will get your ass beat and you will lose an entire day of time, so just just be smart. <laughs> it's so funny because the game is actually oh, what is this? All the green eggs here. Hey homeboys. And it's interesting, they actually like straight up call you out for starting a fight. And interesting, he like forgives you for it. But you do need to be careful, because if you fight people for no reason, you start rivalries, and you don't want that. Okay, so he broke us this deal. He broke us this interesting protection deal, so that this green gang kind of jumps in to help us if we get jumped by schools from another district. Which is nice of them, like... We punch him in the back of the head once by accident, and then they repay us by making a better defense deal than we previously had. That's... they're lovely. They are really nice guys. Okay, we're gonna build up our intelligence soon, because on Saturday morning we've got a test at school, and... If we get good marks, we can get a scholarship, we can get some money. If we don't get good marks, well of course, if we fail at our subjects, then... Our guidance counselor is gonna be disappointed in us, and it's gonna be hard goings later on, you know? So, just gotta be careful. 10.30. It's 11.30. Look at, what a, look at what a good boy I am. I just studied for three hours straight on a Friday night. I mean, sure, it was because I got destroyed in a street fight, but hey. It's day six. Okay, let's do a little bit more brushing up before we go to school. To hear that nice ASMR pencil movement. I really miss that, you know? I hear all the schoolwork and the homework nowadays is all done on computers. I miss pen and paper. I feel like you remember things better with pen and paper. Okay, so let's deal with this now. First head to Park and do some pull-ups. Also, there's been so much unique music as well. It really sets the scene. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh, I can't do eight. Plus three max HP. That's, that's good though. You can see that you're actually improving, you get stronger. Then we'll also do dips. Two, three, four, five, five dips. And that also increases your max HP. I just realized that you're meant to do every single one of these exercises. Do... Are these pull-ups? Or are they chin-ups? I think these are, these are chin-ups. And you can do seven of them. Okay. Sit on a bench for a bit. Can you go on the swings? No, I don't think you can go on the swings. Ringo is too manly to be on some swings. Okay, 6 30. Should find a place to get some food first. Nowhere is going to be open though. I guess we can smoke. Smoking is kind of like breakfast, right? That was a joke. Don't take my advice. I am. I am not a role model. Do you ever get the jitters when you're gonna have an exam and you wanna arrive at the test location an hour and ten minutes before you're meant to be there? True story, I did actually do that as a young kid. I had a test for, I think a, a high school or something. But I was really nervous about it. And the test started at 8 in the morning, and I got to school at, I think, 6, and no one was there. And I was so nervous, and because I was there early, it made me more nervous because I was the only one. I was thinking, like, am I, did, am I here on the wrong day? Did I come a day late? Is that why no one's here? And yeah, I would recommend it. If you've got an exam, arrive a reasonable amount of time beforehand, but not too much. Okay, let's wait for one of these guys to get knocked out so we can move their body. It's gonna keep our distance. Because, oh, we have full health. Sick. Great. Fantastic.
wonder who's gonna win. It's a real slow fight. Very methodical. Lots of lots of mind games. Just kind of standing next to each other. <laughs> All right, okay, that guy's dead. We, we destroy this olive guy before he gets a chance to loot the body. Run, fall over, got him. 95 XP. He had 67 yen on him, and he had 50 yen on him. And hopefully I'm not late for school because they got in that fight. Should be fine. 8 o'clock, should be fine. It's always good to make some pocket change on your way to school. There's Aiko talking to some random guy again. I feel like it's a recurring theme of this whole way. Okay, now we can sit down and... We're here taking our test, we're gonna make sure that we are... Oh wait no, this is school day, what the heck? friend here. Akira was on TV last night, did you watch it? <laughs> nice thinly veiled reference. I don't have a TV. Then why, then why would you want to borrow my console if I had a TV to look it up to? Don't you worry, I'll find the TV alright. Okay, so we find out that Ringo has access to TVs whenever he wants. Interesting. Oh, so that was the exam. That was the exam. So I'm assuming that we can go downstairs now and check the terrifying billboard and I hope that that's not the most recent result, because that's all Fs. Oh, the guidance council's not even here. Hmm. Maybe we've got to wait till Monday. Maybe that's what this is. So, expert grades... Yeah, maybe we've got to wait till Monday. If that's the case, well, what else can we do? We've got Saturday and Sunday. We've got to be a young person and dick around. Oh, we can read a book. Okay, one of these is going to be helpful. We've already read the longest one, so... What about the 10 Tao Principles? It's interesting. Taoism is this like ancient Chinese philosophy about... I don't really know what it's about actually, but it's about like virtues and stuff. I don't know a whole lot about it. It's mentioned a lot in very old school TV shows, dramas, things like that. You know, if it was a monk and... My aspiration in life is to have that big Chinese beard that goes like down to the floor, you know? And while everyone's been stuck inside these last few weeks, I thought, hey, maybe I'll grow it out, you know? No one's gonna see it. I don't show my face anywhere, or at least not close enough for people to see my terrible looking stubble. And so I tried, but it never got that long. I was wondering, you know, if I never shaved again in the next 80 years of my life, I still don't think it'd be that long. So. Maybe it's fiction, who knows? It's a big mystery to me. Okay, so our book's over. So that's the secret of speed reading! Yes! We learned how to read fast. It's not useful, but it lets us get through the rest of these faster and so we can find skills easier. Can read Don't Be a Chump? How fast is it? Oh, it's not even that fast. I almost want to go back and watch the footage after I finish recording because I feel like this is barely faster. Or I could be wrong. It's 5 o'clock in the afternoon now. It took us about... about 30 minutes to read 112 pages. That's pretty fast. So I learned an interesting concept, I should try this sometime. It doesn't tell me what I learned. It's not a skill. Oh, what a waste of time. That's so cool, you can flip a coin. Because it's too polite to smoke in the library. Is that how it works? So you can't smoke at school, but you can smoke when you're outside? 
it's funny because for him, flipping a coin is a delinquent thing, but I would never have considered that to be in any way delinquent when I was growing up in Sydney, you know? Our delinquents just have a different way of expressing themselves. Okay, so we've done everything we have to do. We don't really want to get in any fights because we've still yet to buff up. We've got some cutscenes to look at. I feel like picking a fight. So do I. Shitty mood? The opposite. Ken said it had some other business, and it seemed like these fools bailed out too. He's training for the tournament. <laughs> he doesn't care about anything, he just wants to fight somebody. I hope for the prairies. It's a tough road to hold for just the two of us. Want me to go alone? Why don't we just head over to the bar? No, it's full of sissies. <laughs> That's funny. He needs a hobby. He, def he definitely doesn't need a hobby. If his hobby is going to beat people up, then yeah, he does have too much time on his hands. But that feels bad too, because it feels like Ringo hold well, stands him up. Okay, so he decides to go to the prairie. So I guess we are fighting now. This is the other side of the tracks that we didn't see before. It doesn't really make sense to turf in on somebody else's fight. Maybe we just loot a body and we move on. That's a nice looking truck by the way. Good sprite. Oh, really good sprite. Check that out. Is this where he wants to go? I mean, it looks nice. Yeah, it looks nice. We're squatting around. We're being a delinquent. What if we just throw some shade at these guys? What if we bite our thumbs at them? Props to anyone who gets that reference. Ah, oh, forget this. It's very Yoko Kano with the fighting music to be like jazzy funk. Okay, so we've got a punch power up, we've got some equipment, I mean we've got some experience, and we've got 200 extra yen, and then we light some cigarettes over the bodies. Pretty good fight if you ask me. Got a lot out of that, way better than the waste of time I had before. Okay, there's a red gang here, I do not want anything to do with these guys. Juno flip is actually pretty useful. It, it it means that your opponent gets knocked down right away, and that's very safe because it takes someone out of the fight. It stops them from aggressing you from behind and things like that. It's very uh, pragmatic. All right, so two on one should be easy. All right. Good thing there's no friendly fire in this game. Otherwise, I would have decked my friend there. Okay, so that's the body. Sixty-six, one hundred and thirteen. 91, oh, was a great haul. Okay, and then we light our customary cigarette. And we do a very fire safe thing, we throw it onto the road, we don't want to throw it onto the grass. That would just be very irresponsible, you know? Here is under the bridge, oh, there's a big fight going on here, oh, let's not get involved. We lost a lot of health there. And here we've got a mechanic. Uh, this is actually an interesting spot, which... I don't think I'll have time to show in this Let's Play, so maybe we'll do it later. Well, actually, no, I do have time. Okay, whatever. So what you do is you punch a guy here, and then you just get wrecked. Try to go to the other side. Oh. I don't actually know. I think the, I don't know if the fight needs to happen in front of the cars. Speaking of which, like, look how good these cars look, right? Um, Maybe it works too if it happens here. What other also happens is if you have a party and you run away from a fight while your party member is fighting, you kind of just leave them to it. And you leave them hanging and they don't like you very much after. Dang. So that didn't work the way I thought it was going to work. I thought you can trigger a cutscene if you do that in the right way, but I must have messed up. Okay, well it's the next day. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. We gotta do our daily pull-ups. Gotta look after our health first and foremost. Wow, our friend though. What a guy convinces us to go fighting 
and we get destroyed and we waste a day. What a feel. Oh yeah, here's the gym. This is the gym. Okay. Or the gym, so to speak. Uh, what do you want here? That'd be playing that he is in the guy's head. You can't risk doing anything stupid right now. So this guy knows that Ringo is a bad influence on Ken, basically. He convinces Ken to go out and street fight, and that's caused problems in the past about his boxing tournaments. So they don't have the best relationship. And so what Watanabe just kind of just tells Ringo to get lost, and yeah, you can. You can punch the bags if you want. I don't really know if this boosts your punching strength, I'm not too sure. But eventually, you can pay money to access... I'm not sure if it's this gym, but a gym in the game, and you get stronger from that. Uh, here's the video store, which is not open yet. So let's go to the park, do our dailies, jump up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we can't do nine, so it looks like we get better at by one every day. That's a good way to go about it, is if you can do one more rep than you did last time, then you're doing something right. It's like the little push-ups, right? Anyone can go do that right now. You can do however many push-ups you can do in one go. Which, you know, I'm not even going to judge. If it's one, it's one. But the next time you do it, do two. And then three, and then four, and then five, and then six. And eventually you can do 20, 30, 50, as long as you just keep going. And then if you wait a few weeks before trying again, then you're, you're going to slide back down. So... It's all about consistency. You gotta do it every day and you gotta push yourself to do more than you did the last time. It's a very realistic game. There's a lot of life lessons that I've been able to teach by playing this game. Okay, so it's uh, Sunday, right? Yeah, Sunday. What do we do on Sundays? There's no cutscenes to trigger, there's no friends to hang out with. School's closed. It's a bit lonely, actually. Guess we can explore this area. So we cross the train tracks. We're back before we were back to where we were last time. There is a wasteland here with really nice looking graffiti. It's really good sprites overall. And there's very often street fights here. This is a good place to brawl. We can go to the other side, which we were there before. No fights going on at the moment though. We head up this way, across the road. We end up here at the Outlook. And here's a great place to the lookout. What? Did I say Outlook? <laughs> Emails are playing in my brain. Uh, the lookout. And you get a really nice view here the harbor, the clouds. <sighs> Take a good photo. You're running up the pier, I don't know. The Lincoln Squat. Yeah, do what you want. Smoke while you squat. Loot the harbor. Okay, that's enough, let's go. I kinda just wanna find a fight to eavesdrop on so I can get some more money. I have 1,100, which is not bad, but if I really want that ping pong table, you know, that's 5,000 yen. I can't afford that. On that note, the 5,000 yen is actually very cheap for a okay. 5,000 yen is like something like 80 AUD right now. That's very cheap for a ping pong table. Okay, so. Gotta to talk to the mechanic. He's an interesting side character. And you can just talk about his car and stuff. You can only talk to him once a day, but I think he has different lines each time. So you can get to know him over time. He's got an interesting. Uh, it's got a very metal punching back here. It's suspended by a metal chain. That's just hardcore. And it's got an interesting junkyard full of cars. We've got some bodies to loot. 178. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. 96. Pretty good. I don't want to get in a fight with the red guys though. They're gonna wreck me. So let's just head back to safety, really. There's not much else to do. And you start to get a, you start to get familiar with the various gangs in this game. It's just like in River City Ransom, where different colors have different strengths, have different personalities. Exactly the same thing here. 
Actually, I, <laughs> I don't usually go to the right side. I still don't know what this is for. I don't know if this is even in the game. This is not open yet. Open soon though. This is another gym. Or another guy. With an, a unique soundtrack for some reason. Want to gain some muscles? Who doesn't? And you're in the right place. How much is one session? You don't have a single session, it's only monthly passes. What if you don't like it? What's not to like? You take a piece of iron and lift it. I see. What kind of machines do you have? You don't need machines. Ancient Greeks didn't have machines. People just carried weights and got strong. It's not rocket science. What kind of gym is this? Monthly passes 30,000 yen. We can't afford that. What do I pay 1,000 every day? If I come every day, you get the same money. You won't come here every day. That's what I'm saying. And so that's the fee, right? You have to come here. Uh, it's 1,000 to work out here, which is very expensive. For a high schooler like Ringo who has no income, where are you going to get that money from, you know? How are you going to afford that? Uh, let's buy some food because we are completely starving. And the food in this game doesn't restore your stat, or doesn't give you stats like in River City Ransom, so it's a bit sucky in that regard, actually. It's just good to be not hungry. I don't really know what that parameter does, but it's just good to not be hungry, you know? There's these green guys, and I promised that I wouldn't fight them, so let's hold that promise and not fight them. Is that your friends? I wonder where they're going. If you find your friends hanging around, you can ask them to join you and form a party, and that's going to be better for when you do get into the fights. Of course, it doesn't always work out like that. Everyone's got their own lives, everyone's got their own schedules. Sometimes just, you know, you're not, you're, you might be the leader, but you're not the, the one who calls the shots. Are these guys hostile? Oh, they're actually hostile. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing this. Oh, there's a lot of them too. Bar's not open. Okay, might as well show you this field. This field is huge. It's really nicely animated. I love the way they do the parallax scrolling when you run across because it makes it seem really big. There's a pier here, and that's the furthest you go on this side. So that's the boundaries of this map. I'm pretty sure I've shown every location this game has to offer now. It's not a big game, but it's dense. You know, every screen has different things on it, different possibilities. There's different gangs that can appear there, so lots of different events that can happen. And because time is constantly advancing, there are story events that just occur in certain places. There's lots of things to find, even though there's not a lot of places to do that searching. Okay, where are we going? What are we doing? I don't really want to pick a fight, because I'm not very strong and I always get wrecked. Just waiting around for that 2 o'clock place to open so I can see where it is. Are these guys hostile? Oh, they're super hostile. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we're not gonna win this. We're gonna run. We have no health. I'm pretty sure you recover health by sleeping when you're not hungry, so... Yeah, I'm not in the mood to get in a lot of fights right now. It's not gonna end well. I've got my own plans, you know? Okay, so it's almost time. Oh, there's a fight here. Weird. Green versus black. Both of them are not super strong, so I'm not that worried to be hanging around. I'm just gonna wait for the time to go over and to just duck into this building. And maybe loot some bodies. Oh wait, no, it's hostile. They're hostile. Oh, no, 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 no. Get away, get away, get away. This is the train station. I'm not sure if it's for or anything. You can fight people here, but I have not taken a train in this game's story. At least not yet. Okay, so what's this place? Oh, it's a warehouse. You can buy crap here. There is a TVVCL combo, a Famicom, and a golden chain. So, if you have a lot of money, you can actually just buy a Famicom and play some NES games at home. But 14k is a lot of yen to come by as a young high school kid, you know? You gotta 
get some real bank to afford that. It's functional. I mean, you can definitely buy it. It's just you've got to plan your playthrough around it, which is interesting. Okay, because it's, it's towards the end of Ringo's high school career, his days are quite limited. So it's probably not the best to be running around wasting time like I'm doing right now. If anything, I could just be at home studying. Because these grades are actually, they're very not useless. They're, they matter a lot to the grand scheme of the story and the plot. Okay, so let's just do some studying then. But physics, history, mathematics, chemistry, and literature. You need to be an all-rounder. You can't be exceptional in one subject and bad at the other ones and still get a good mark. You need to know everything. And it's really... I don't want to say nostalgic, because nostalgic kind of suggests a good thing, right? But it helps me remember what it was like to be in high school a lot. Just to have all this free time in your hands, but also you know, exams looming ahead and just this constant need to achieve and succeed and make progress. It can be difficult for a kid, you know, it can be very stifling. It's a hard time for them. It's one of the first times they get the responsibility to make whatever decisions they want, but it's then held back because they just have so much expectation. Their friends want them to act a certain way, their teachers want them to act a certain way, and it's it's very ironic because the world is uh, it, the world is saying in one way, hey, you're an adult now, do what you want. But it's also saying, hey, you're a kid, you know, don't act out of line. And it's hard for someone in that position to determine their identity and to make choices about what they want to be in life because what else can you say? It's just it's just hard. It's difficult. And I think this game expresses that in a really good way. Speaking of really good ways, let's go and do some pull-ups. Alright. Two. Three, four, five, six. I'm not even getting tired. Look at look at this. Seven, eight, nine. So oh, I can't do ten. How do you do nine? Well, let's use every piece of equipment. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So oh, I can't do ten. Okay. And then dips. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 oh, hold on a second. I can only do eight dips. Seven dips, I mean? Dang. Weaker than I thought. Well, at least I got some max HP. The thing is, an extra six max HP every day is kind of nothing in the grand scheme of things, because a hit does 30 HP. So you need to do five days in a row of exercise before you can withstand just a single additional hit. And that's also pretty realistic if you think about it, you know? If you do a lot of exercise, you'll get a little bit of reward. It's kind of hard, but that's the truth of it, isn't it? Alright, so it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new week of school. Let's see if the exam results have been posted. Oh, check it out! All C's and A in physics. That is some good. That's some good studying. There, we're not even the worst student. Whoever Yamaguchi is got wrecked, but we, we are a C student. How good is that? Ringo, hurry! What's going on? Some chump cold cannot hurry up. Everyone's in the schoolyard. Oh man! Oh, it's a red dude too. He's gonna get wrecked. I'm Hattori Kenshi from Northern High. Never heard of you. Nobody has. That's why I'm here. <laughs> so I'm guessing he wants to beat down on this guy to prove that he's actually worth something. We just kind of watch him, I guess. See how this goes. It's a very Yoko Kano kind of scene. I like it. Oh yeah, go Ken. That is that is human beatboxing or something too. 
Oh no, he broke his hand. Oh no, that's actually so bad. Man, I feel sad for being happy about my marks now. Okay, so here's one of Ringo's mates. It's fractured. It's interesting. So Ringo kind of feels responsible for that because he's the leader of the gang, you know? So if Ken's part of the gang, it means that people are gonna start coming for him. That's rough. That's, that's a lot of responsibility to have on a person like that, you know? It's hard. Did you see how I was railroaded in last year's final fight? It's biased, they didn't even count the knockdown. So Ken's not doing so well in his boxing, and he's really making sacrifices to be part of Ringo's group. Maybe he can make it up in college. I hope there's some college teams, they must organize some kind of tournaments. Or he can go to pros, there are many options, it's not the end of the world. No, it's not. How is he on the whole? He said he'll have to stay out for stay home for a couple of days. And besides that, you know, Ken. It's surprisingly real. There's a lot of consequences to actions that you just don't expect, and we missed the whole school day. Dang, I was excited to revel in my good marks. Yeah. Well, okay, that's. That's a good slice of this game, I think. We've seen how everything goes, we've seen the main mechanics, we've seen the town. We've seen the absolutely gorgeous work that Shinyo did for this game. It just looks great. And they found a really good way to convey this interesting psychological message as well. You know, the feeling of growing up, of having to take responsibility for your, your identity and your actions. It's not easy, and it's expressed in the game mechanics. It's so impressive, right? So definitely check this out. This game's called The Friends of Ringo Ishikawa. A lot more fun if you have played River City Ransom, because that kind of, that, those kind of mechanics really speak to you. And then after that, go check out his new game, which is... I want to say it's called Assault on the Stone Buddha, but I could be wrong. I will flash the name on the screen. But anyways, thank you for joining us this week for Hub Plays. Let's extinguish our cigarette together, and I will see you guys next week. Goodbye.